100 grams of coconut, 120 grams of sugar, 100 ml of coconut water, 65 ml of glacial acetic acid, 400 ml of nata starter. By the way, on how to make a nata starter, watch my first video on how to make a nata starter for you to learn. 2.4 liters of water, a measuring cup, a spoon for mixing, a big basin for making the nata, other tupperware for the nata, and the rubber bond and paper for closing the nata, and a clean cloth. First, we will put the coconut in a clean cloth. And we will put it in the basin of with 2.4 liters water. Make sure the cloth is clean. Let's secure it with a rubber band first. For securing it. Okay, let's put it in a basin. My hands are clean. I just can remove it from my hand and clean it. In my hand. Last one. We will now put the 120 grams of sugar. I'm Abiel Pastoral Via Flor and I'm back again. And this day, we are now in the 12th day of waiting and fermenting the nata we made. So, in this video, we have three tupperwares of nata. And you, as you can see in the last previous clips, we have made three tupperwares of nata. So, in this, we will check it one by one if it is successful or not. So, I wish it is successful and what we are waiting for, let's go! We are now in the container number one. So, we will remove the rubber band and check if it is successful or not. Sorry for the paper because it's wet last week. Container number one of the nata is not successful. It is just a pure liquid. 
there's a white figure at the bottom. I think it is the nata, but it is not formed. So, container number one is not successful. We are now in the container number two. So, I'm very sad because the container number one was not successful and I don't know why it is not successful. But I wish this container number two is successful. As you can see, I use a big container for this because I have no stocks na of small containers. So, we will now open and remove the rubber band. Let's see. Remove the paper. This is not successful, but let's check. Oh, there's another form. Let's check. Oh. oh. <laughs> As you can see, this is Nanata. Hmm. Now we will put it in a separate container. This is the formed nata in the 12 days of fermenting it. So, I am happy because the second container is successful. This liquid will not be using it. This the nata is completely successful. I can show you the formed nata. I'm very sorry. I not film checking the container number two i am in number three but the nata is formed and it is successful so you can see there's a nata hmm. this is the nata container number two okay this is the formed nata In this clip, we are now slicing the nata into small pieces. So, we will slice first the container number 2 nata. I don't know why it is thin, but at least we have formed a nata. Let's put it in a chopping board. Let's separate the liquid. We are not using it. Always okay, remember that your hands are clean before doing. After slicing this, we will wash. Next, we will slice into small pieces the nata we formed of container number two. Container two. I'm very happy that this container number two nata we formed was a bit of thick, not like container number three. in the process of washing the nata we form so i clarify that the nata we form must be washed clean wash clean okay. wash it very clean <laughs> 